Hey guys, it's Wednesday night here in the Philippines, and you know what time it is. It's time to unbox some chase cars. And sorry on Monday I didn't tell you guys what we were doing this week because I was kind of a little bit excited about those mini GT cars. But I have something special planned for tonight. It is two of the first ever Super Chase cars from M2. And I have to give a special thank you and shout out to my buddy Enna Solarum for selling me these cars. He's going in a different direction with his collection, so he called me up and asked me if I'd like to buy his Super Chase cars. And of course I jumped all over it because I've been looking for this Chevelle. The Pontiac was just kind of an added bonus, but the Chevelle was like my main objective to obtain this car. Um, and because the ones you see in front of you, we've opened in the past in my other videos. But the Daytona and the Roadrunner is, um, or are number two and three from the Detroit Muscle series. The Chevelle is number one, so that makes the trifecta, one, two, and three. So uh, another thing that's pretty cool is that the Detroit Muscle series in series one and two is called Muscle Cars. Uh, the reason they changed the Detroit Muscle, I really don't know. I don't know if it was because they thought it was catchier or it sounded cooler. I'm not sure why they changed it after the first two releases. But um, the Roadrunner that you see here that I have doubles of actually was the first Detroit Muscle Super Chase car. But since Muscle Cars is considered Detroit Muscle 1 and 2, it's actually the third. But for labeled package reasons, it is actually the first Detroit Muscle Super Chase car. Even though Detroit Muscle says release 3, still first one labeled as Detroit Muscle. Um, and I was actually really shocked to find two of them here, the, of the Roadrunner. Because these cars are extremely rare. I mean, like what you see in front of you right now, there's a whole lot of rareness here. I mean, these are uh, twice as rare as any of the Raw Super Chases. The Raw Super Chases, I think at minimum, are, is uh, 200, I, but I think most are 250. These are maximum 168. Some are 108, some are 168. Which ones were 108, which ones were 168, I really don't know, to be honest with you. Um, some of them possibly could even be rarer, and that would explain why some of these go for such huge prices compared to the others. Uh, like, for example, the Daytona that you see right here is the most desirable in the Detroit Muscle. Uh, the Mercury is the most desirable in the Autothenics. For what reasons, I don't know. Uh, the Daytona comes up periodically for sale. The Mercury is a little bit harder to find. It comes up maybe once or twice a year for sale that I've noticed. Um, the Roadrunners are also rare, and so is the Chevelle, but uh, I just have seen the Daytona sell for some ridiculous money. The Chevelle, I'm not sure about. I haven't seen one of those for sale for a while. Um, the Roadrunner is also not cheap, but uh, the Daytona usually goes for two to three times more than the Roadrunner. Same thing with the Merc comparing, say, to the Pontiac or something. So there's reasons behind it. It may just be because of the desirability of the car. So, with all this being said, let's go ahead and get number one out of the box. As you can see, muscle cars and release number one. I've already cut the back of the package to make it a little easier to open and took the plastic prop off the hood. That's why the hood is kind of going closed on this one. So, let's get him out, get him off the stand, and take a better look at him. And park him next to his brothers two and three so there he is out of the package this car is really cool too because they're running like a Krager style wheel most of the m2 chevelles have a like ss style rally which is also noted as like the magnum rally wheels that a lot of muscle car manufacturers ran uh, like buick Olds, even mustangs ran the magnums some Mopars did too, so it was like a universal rally. And I'm kind of just moving this around as you can see the glare coming off the chrome, which is completely badass. I really do dig these chrome chase cars. So let's get him off the stand, 
to get a better look at him. So there he is. Very nice. It's got the SS454 emblems on the fenders. Marker lights and everything is visible, uh, visible uh, red line tires, and as I said, with like a Krager style wheel, black interior, black SS stripes. Very cool. Like, they didn't chintz on any of the details, they're all still there. The SS badge in the grill, headlight. Uh, I think there are actually even little plastic headlights. The hood doesn't close perfectly, but hey, I'm not going to argue. It's probably just because of the excess chrome. So very cool car. The chrome is beautiful on these. And as you can see, like on the roof, it's like a mirror. You can see me and the camera and everything. It's awesome. So... This is kind of what I've been waiting for. To be honest with you guys, I've been waiting for number four and number nine more than number one because I'm a Mopar fan. Number four is the Super B and number nine is the Cuda. So still looking for those. And if anybody in the Philippines has them and would like to get rid of them, please contact me. Also, I'm looking for number four regular chase, which is the Daytona with the Pro Touring style wheels. So uh, if anybody has them and would like to sell them and is residing in the Philippines, please contact me and let me know. Uh, so with that out of the way, <laughs> trying to buy stuff on YouTube here, uh, let's take a look at number two again. This guy was also labeled as Muscle Cars, released two. And as I said, this is the most sought after one of the group. I think they did 10 chrome and then in, it was either in release 10 or release 11, they went to gold, like, but not gold plating, like a gold paint. Uh, and the first one I think was a 71 Super B, which would also be cool to have. I've got some of the gold ones, but not many. I think I have two, maybe three gold Super Chases. Then number three, which started the Detroit Muscle nameplate, was this Roadrunner. Um, and if you guys go back to my video history, my 10th video that I've released since the beginning of the year was the unboxing for this. And then number 11 was the unboxing of the Super Chase Gold Daytona. We don't have that out here today, but that's also a very beautiful car. So these are very cool, very accurate with the sky hood on this one. This is the only one that was accurate with the sky hood because um, the Chevelle, the 70 Chevelle with the sky hood from this release and the Mustang was not accurate. They had hinged hoods. Super, or Super B and Roadrunner were the only cars in 69 with a liftoff hood. I think they were the only ones with liftoff hoods, period, for a factory car. And maybe a couple of the other like super stock Mopars had liftoff hoods, but mass produced, well not even really mass produced, these were limited, but they were the only production car I would say that was a street car with a liftoff glass hood. I don't think they made any post um, six pack cars, and what I mean by post is sedan, I think they were all hard tops, but still yet sky hood is very fitting for 69 six pack Roadrunner. Um, then we just did this guy last week, as you recall, the Mercury. This is probably the most sought after Autothenics one. And it, once again, for what reasoning, I don't know. I don't know if it was more of a limited run compared to the others, but you do not see this car come up for sale very often. Um, so it is a rare one. And then, this was from Release 5, Autothenics. And Autothenics, when they first started, did some crazy stuff too. They didn't change names, but they had like Release 1A. 
and release 1B. And they did this for probably the first seven or eight releases, maybe upwards of 10, I can't recall. But release A, like 1A, never had chases. Then 1B would have your chase and super chase. And all of them were like this. The A release, never any chases, but release B had the chase and super chase. You would think that they would have mixed it up a little bit. And they may have later on, but as far as what I could see, I think all chases and super chases were in release B. So if you've seen like, I don't know, a, a six pack come at to your Walmart and it was all like 1A, you knew there were no chases in that. But if it was B, then you knew you had a good chance of getting a chase or super chase. Um, but what's strange is, as you can see on the tags here, they don't say the release like A or B as far as what I can see here. On the boxes, they may have, but I know on M2's website, they list them this way, like release, say, 6, release 6A, then release 6B. So it's kind of strange. Um, or maybe by 6, they had stopped. I just know the first few, they were release 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. So anyways, this is the, I guess you could say, corresponding... Um, Super Chase to the Mercury, the consecutive number uh, five and six. So, anyways, this is a cool one, and uh, I'm very happy to have it, but it's just not one that I was hunting for, but since it came up, I went ahead and bought it because uh, it was kind of a package deal to get the Chevelle. So, very nice, though. This is uh, not like a 55 Chevy. It's not as desirable, but still yet beautiful car. All of the GM cars from the 50s were very nice cars. So I got the hood ornament. And you can see the Pontiac emblem there. Then some of the stainless, like chrome trim which is actually dulled by the chrome body so it's like the real like stainless trim on the car is actually made to look dull by this brilliant chrome that they use on the super chases in the auto authentics lineup my favorite is the 58 plymouth belvedere just because i'm a huge christine fan so that's why I would really like to find that here, too. So if anybody has that for sale here locally uh, in the Philippines, please contact me. I would be interested in buying it, too. Um, so this is my unboxing for the day, guys. This is a very short video tonight, but I only had two to unbox and just give you a quick look at all the other ones, but you've seen them in the past, but just kind of wanted to give you an overview of all of them together because they do look very beautiful together. And now, uh, especially these three or four, well, the doubles of the Roadrunner, but yeah, one, two, and three look great together. Then you have five and six of the Autothenics. Um, eventually, I wouldn't mind having all of them, to be honest. All the Autothenics, all of the Detroit Muscle, but I do have my priorities, like, in hunting. But if they come up and the price is right, I will buy, you know, whatever model is available. Um, but, yeah, what I'm really looking for now is the Cuda and Super B from Detroit Muscle, and then the 58 Plymouth from the Autothenics. Uh, and as I said, I had the Gold Daytona. It's actually a newer release from 2018, so not very brand new, but still newer. Uh, it's the 10th anniversary, and it's gold, not plated, but the gold paint that they started using uh, in release 10, I believe it was. But they went to the, all these raw super chases and things, but that gold one was the first like super chase to appear that kind of reminded me of one of the older ones but anyways when the 10th anniversary uh autothenics there's a gold 57 chevy which is very nice that i would like to find too if it's available here um the reason i try to get things here is because shipping is a killer like getting things shipped from the states then 
Not only that, but you have to worry about customs, things getting held up, things maybe even getting lost and stuff like that. So I just don't deal with it. I do get some stuff from the States, but it usually comes here in like big boxes that they're sending here for resell items or sending here to their family. I have a couple friends that send some things for me occasionally, but that's about the only way I get things from the States. That's just to kind of uh, reduce the hassle and stress, I just try to get everything locally. So, guys, uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, please like and share the video. I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And uh, I know there's a bunch of challenges going on right now. I did the gasser challenge for Mike Espo. Uh, I know Gary, he has a couple of challenges going on. Uh, there's like the Hot Rod uh, Die Cash Junkie Jeep Challenge, which I think I will probably get to that one quicker than the convertible one because I have more Jeeps than the convertibles because Jeep, as you know, is considered like the adopted Mopar. So, hey, since I'm a Mopar guy, I definitely have some Jeeps. Not a lot, but a few that I can do this challenge with. Um, but... I will do that as like a bonus video this week because I'm trying to stick with my regular scheduled programs. This Saturday, I'm either going to unbox all the Supernovas. My Tootsie Roller did arrive, but I still have to pick it up from the hobby shop or have it shipped here. So I'm not sure to get here before I film. If not, I'll save it for next weekend. But uh, in the meantime, if it's not here, I'm going to dedicate Saturday to German cars. I have a lot of really cool Porsches and a BMW that I want to show you guys. So if uh, all else fails with the 66 Supernovas, I will go ahead and do a German car day on Saturday. So one of the two, I'm not sure which one it will be, but... Uh, It'll be a surprise you guys will find out on Saturday. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe, and I will see you guys on Saturday. Thank you.